on Instagram, your title is listed as prompt engineer. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you uh, for noticing. <laughs> it's, uh, I don't know if it's ironic or uh, non, uh, or sarcastic or non. Uh, what do you think of prompt engineering as a scientific and engineering discipline, or maybe, and maybe art form? You know what? I started Kama six years ago, and I started the Tiny Corp a month ago. So much has changed. Like, I'm now thinking, I'm now, like, I started, like, going through, like, similar comma processes to, like, starting a company. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get an office in San Diego. I'm going to bring people here. I don't think so. I think I'm actually going to do remote, right? George, you're going to do remote? You hate remote. Yeah, but I'm not going to do job interviews. The only way you're going to get a job is if you contribute to the GitHub, mm. right? And then, like, it, it, like, like, interacting through GitHub, like, like, GitHub being the real, like, project management software for your company, and the thing pretty much just is a GitHub repo, mm -hmm. is like showing me kind of what the future of, okay, so a lot of times I'll go on a Discord, or kind of grad Discord, and I'll throw out some random like, hey, you know, can you change instead of having log and exp as LLOps, change it to log two and exp two? Mm -hmm. It's a pretty small change. You can just use like change a base formula. Mm -hmm. um, that's the kind of task that I can see an AI being able to do in a few years. Like in a few years, I could see myself describing that, and then within 30 seconds, a pull request is up that does it. Mm -hmm. And it passes my CI and I merge it, right? So I really started thinking about like, well, what is the future of like, like jobs? How many AIs can I employ at my company? As soon as we get the first tiny box up, I'm gonna stand up a 65B llama in the Discord. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, here's the tiny box. He's just like, he's chilling with us. Basically, I mean, like you said with Nietzsche, it's like most human, jobs will eventually be replaced with prompt engineering. Well, prompt engineering kind of is this like, as you like move up the stack, right? Like, okay, there used to be humans actually doing um, arithmetic by hand. Mm -hmm. right? There used to be like big farms of people doing, doing, doing pluses and stuff, right? And then you have like spreadsheets, right? And then, okay, the spreadsheet can do the plus for me. And then you have like macros, right? And then you have like things that basically just are spreadsheets under the hood. Mm -hmm. Right, like like accounting software. Um, as we move further up the abstraction, well, what's at the top of the abstraction stack? Well, prompt engineer. Yeah. Right. W what is what is the last thing if you think about like humans wanting to keep control? Well, what am I really in the company but a prompt engineer? Right. Isn't there a certain point where the AI will be better at writing prompts? Yeah, but you see the problem with the AI writing prompts, a definition that I always liked of AI was AI is the do what I mean machine, right? AI is not the, like the computer is so pedantic. It does what you say. Mm -hmm. So, but you want the do what I mean machine, yeah, right? You want the machine where you say, you know, get my grandmother out of the burning house. It like reasonably takes your grandmother and puts her on the ground, not lifts her a thousand feet above the burning house and lets her fall. Right. But you There's don't. There's an old Yudkowsky example. <laughs> but uh, it's not going to find the meaning. I mean, it, to do do what I mean, it has mm -hmm. to figure stuff out. Sure. And the thing you'll maybe ask it to do is run government for me. Oh, and do what I mean very much comes down to how aligned is that AI with you? Of course, when you talk to an AI that's made by a big company in the cloud. The AI fundamentally is aligned to them, not to you. Yeah. And that's why you have to buy a tiny box. So you make sure the AI stays aligned to you. Every time that they start to pass, you know, AI regulation or GPU regulation, I'm gonna see sales of tiny boxes spike. Right? It's gonna be like guns, right? Every time they talk about gun regulation, boom, gun sales. So in the space of AI, you're an anarchist. Anarchism espouser. Um, believer. I'm an informational anarchist, yes. I'm an informational anarchist and a physical statist. <laughs> I do not think anarchy in the physical world is very good because I exist in the physical world. But I think we can construct this virtual world where anarchy, it can't hurt you, right? I love that Tyler, the creator uh, tweet. Uh, Yo, cyberbullying isn't real, man. Have you tried turning off the screen? Close your eyes. Like, <laughs> yeah. But how do you prevent the AI from basically replacing all human prompt engineers? Where there's, it's like a self, like where nobody's the prompt engineer anymore. So mm -hmm. autonomy, greater and greater autonomy until it's full autonomy. Yeah. And that's just where it's headed. Because one person is going to say, 
run everything for me. <laughs> you see, I look at potential futures, and as long as the AIs go on to create a vibrant civilization with diversity and complexity across the universe, more power to them. I'll die. Um, if the AIs go on to actually like turn the world into paperclips and then they die out themselves, well, that's horrific and we don't want that to happen. So this is what I mean about like robustness. I trust robust machines. The current AIs are so not robust. Like this comes back to the idea that we've never made a machine that can self-replicate, right? But when we have, if the machines are truly robust and there is one prompt engineer left in the world, hope you're doing good, man. Hope you believe in God. Like, you know, you know, go by God and go, go forth and, and, and uh, conquer the universe.